Hello everybody and welcome back to another Wii homebrew related tutorial video. Now in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install ReConnect24 on your Nintendo Wii console. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So to get everything up and running, you're going to need four things. The first thing is going to be a homebrewed Nintendo Wii console. Now, if you have not yet homebrewed your Nintendo Wii, or if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go ahead and check out this other tutorial video. It'll be linked up in the cards, and it will take you through that process. It is very straightforward and very simple to do. Now, a major side note here, and this is important for anyone out there that is using the Wii Mini, and not the original Wii or the Wii Family Edition, which is the one without GameCube support, you should not uh, follow along with this guide. You should not try to install ReConnect24 on the Wii Mini. The reason being is since the Wii Mini did not uh, have the ability to connect to the internet, none of these services were ever offered on it. And the developers of ReConnect24 have said that trying to install ReConnect24 on the Wii Mini will actually brick the entire system. Now, ReConnect24 also supports both the Wii U's VWii, or the Virtual Wii, as well as the Dolphin emulator later, but you're going to have to follow a slightly different guide than what I'm going to be showing in this tutorial video here. The second thing you're going to need is either an SD card or a USB drive that is formatted to the FAT32 file system. The third thing you're going to need is access to a Windows-based computer. If you don't have access to a Windows-based system, I would recommend downloading VirtualBox, which supports macOS and Linux, and just install Windows inside of a virtual machine. The fourth and final thing you're going to need is the ReConnect24 Patcher batch file, which will also be linked down below in the video description. Now before we get started, I just want to highly emphasize that you are doing this at your own risk. All of the software I'm going to show you today is provided as is with no warranty. None of these programs are endorsed by Nintendo and the developers of these programs are not responsible for any damage that could result by you installing these programs. I am also not responsible for any damage that may happen to your console. This video is being made solely for educational purposes. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial. All right, so we're here on our Windows-based system, and of course we have the reconnect24patcher.bat file downloaded, as well as our SD card inserted into the system. Now, like I said before, I am using an SD card, although it shows up as a USB drive on the system here, but you can also use a USB drive. It does not necessarily have to be blank. You can see I actually use this for uh, my homebrewed Wii. I actually have a couple of apps already on the card. You just have to have enough free space for the patcher to actually be able to copy all the files it needs over to the card. Now, before we actually run the patcher, you want to do two things. The first thing is you want to make sure your system is connected to the internet, which you can see uh, this system system is by the indicator down here. The second thing you want to do is go into the start menu and do a search for Windows features and you want to click on turn Windows features on or off. Now for the patcher to actually work we need to enable .NET Framework 3.5 which as you can see also includes .NET 2.0 and 3.0 so if this is not already checked go ahead and check it and click on OK and when this window comes up select let Windows update download the files for you and Windows will go ahead and actually download those files. Now once it actually finishes installing, you're going to have to go ahead and restart your system. So go ahead and click restart now. All right, so once you've logged back into your system, and now we can actually proceed with running the reconnect24patcher.bat file. So go ahead and double click on this and it will come up with the patcher right here. Now if it does not actually detect your SD card, uh, which is indicated by this string here, uh, you want to actually make sure it's inserted properly and press R until something shows up. Now, as it says, if the drive letter is incorrect, don't worry about it because you can change it later on. So once you have something displaying here, go ahead and actually press one to actually start the process and press enter. Now on the next screen right here, it's going to ask you, okay, what device are we patching today? And you have again, three options, the Wii, the Wii U's Virtual Wii or the V Wii and the Dolphin Emulator. So we're going to go ahead and choose the regular Wii because that's what we're doing in this tutorial. So go ahead and press one and press enter. 
and you're going to want to choose option one here on the next screen which is going to be install reconnect 24 on your Wii. You can also use this patcher to uninstall it by going with option two or use some of the other patchers down uh, below this line which we're not going to focus on for this video. So we'll go with option one and press enter. Now on this next screen you have the option to choose between the express installation or the custom installation. I would personally recommend going with the express installation because that just installs everything. You can see all these channels and features right here. Uh, if you only wanted to install one or two of these things, you can go with option two and actually manually specify what channels and features you want to install. Now, a big side note here, it does not matter if you already have all of these channels installed on your Wii, you have to download them through this program and have it actually apply the patches to it because you have to actually manually install these WAD files on your system because the unpatched channels are not going to work with reconnect 24. For the purposes of this video, we're going to go with option one. So press one and press enter. Now on this next screen, it's going to ask you your region. Now this only pertains to the everybody votes channel, the check me out channel and the Nintendo channel. And you can see we only have two options, Europe and USA. Now because I'm in the US, I'm going to select option number two. But if you were in Europe, you would select option number one. Now, unfortunately, if you have a Japanese Wii or a Korean Wii, uh, from what I understand, the Everybody Votes channel, the Check Me Out channel, and the Nintendo channel are not going to function properly. Now, I was doing some research before recording this video, and I actually found a Reddit post uh, from somebody who actually had a Japanese Wii and was able to go through this installer and selected the uh, USA option here. I don't believe it really matters what option you select because these regional settings only pertain to these three channels right here. But from what I understand, you'll only be able to utilize the forecast channel, the news channel, and the uh, Wii Mail feature. But like I said, I have a US Wii. I'm going to go with option two. And right here, it's going to ask you uh, to insert your SD card. So you need to once again, make sure your SD card or USB drive is inserted into your system and press one for connected and press enter. And this is where if the installer did not detect the right drive at the very beginning, you can actually uh, specify the drive here by going with option number three. So if you did not know uh, what drive letter that your system was assigning to your SD card or USB drive, open up an Explorer window, go to this PC, and verify that right here. So you can see my uh, SD card is being uh, recognized as the E drive. So you want to make sure that the same drive letter is up here. If it's not, go ahead and press three and change it. Once you verify that, go ahead and press one to start patching and press enter. And now it's going to actually begin the uh, process of downloading these files, patching them, and then actually copying the files over to your SD card. Now, wherever you ran the reconnect 24 batch file from, that is the directory it's going to use to store or all of its temporary files. So because I actually ran the uh, batch file from my desktop, you see it's actually using that to actually store all of these temporary files. It will delete them after it's done, but just a little heads up there. All right, so the patcher has finished up. You can see that the majority of those temporary files have been deleted. Now we can go ahead and select option three, which is close the patcher and clean up all temporary data created by the patcher. So go ahead and do that and press enter. Now the patcher will not delete the WAD folder and the apps folder these it will leave on your desktop so you can safely delete them now if you want to because they have been copied over to uh, your SD card or USB drive all right so here we are on our Nintendo Wii console now before we actually launch into the homebrew channel you want to make sure of two very important things number one you want to make sure that your system is connected to the internet and number two you want to make sure that you're running system menu version 4.3 but chances are if you've already got the homebrew channel installed you've already done both of those things so go ahead and launch into the homebrew channel all right, so we're here in the homebrew channel and you'll notice right off the bat that we've got two new options here. We have reconnect 24 mail patcher and Wii mod light. We're going to start off with Wii mod light. So go ahead and click on that and press load. And it's going to go ahead and apply patches. So just go ahead and wait for that. Now on this menu right here, what you're going to want to do is press the down arrow on your D pad to go down to WAD manager and press a on that. And now it's going to ask you to select the source device. So in this case, we're going to use the SD card slot. If you were using a USB drive, you would press the right button on your D pad to go over to that. So once you select the correct device, you're going to see a list of all of the WAD files that the program has found on your SD card or USB drive. 
drive. So what you want to do is use the down button on your D-pad to go all the way down to iOS 31. We want to start with this WAD file. So go ahead and press A on that and it's going to come up and ask you to select an action. You want to go with the first option which is install WAD. So just go ahead and press A and it's going to go ahead and install the WAD for you. Now once it finishes up you want to go ahead and press any key to continue and then use the down button on your D-pad to go down to iOS 80. You want to install this WAD file next. So just do the same thing. And then you want to go ahead and do the exact same thing for the other three WAD files that are in here. It does not matter what order you do them in from here on out. All right, so once you're done with that, you just want to go ahead and press the home button on your Wii remote and it will take you back to the Homebrew channel. Now the next thing we want to do is go up to the Reconnect24 mail patcher and launch that. Now yes, for those of you who don't know, the Wii actually had the ability to send emails. If you used Wii Connect 24, your console was assigned an at Wii.com email address. Uh, with Reconnect 24 though, you're going to be assigned an at rc24.xyz address, which is actually the website for Reconnect 24. And you can actually go there. I would recommend if you want to learn more about this service, you can go to their website. They've got a lot of information, including the list of services that they support. They also have a server status page, which is very useful if you're experiencing problems. You can kind of go on there to see if it's something on their end. But yeah, once you've done that, I mean, it's going to basically automatically do that for you. Just want to go ahead and press the home button to go back to the homebrew channel once again. And once you get back to the homebrew channel, you can go ahead and press the home button on your remote and press exit the system menu because we're actually done with the homebrew channel portion of the setup. Now the first thing that you're going to notice is we actually have the Check Me Out channel, the Everybody Votes channel, and the Nintendo channel all on the system menu. And I did not have those installed before as you probably saw from the beginning of this clip. Uh, so that's what we actually did through Wii Mod Lite by installing those WAD files. But we're not done yet because we do have to make a couple of modifications in the console settings. So go ahead and press the Wii Options button at the bottom left and then go into Wii Settings. Now from here you want to press the plus button one time to go over to the second page and click on the internet option. In here you want to click on connection settings and then whatever connection that you're using to connect to the internet. Once in here click on change settings. Now you want to press the plus button on your Wii remote a couple of times to go over to the auto obtain DNS screen. Now, like I mentioned in my original homebrew tutorial, you do not want to be on the auto obtain IP address screen. Make sure it says auto obtain DNS. These screens do look very similar. You want to make sure you're on the right one. Once you've confirmed you're on the right screen, change the option to no and then click on advanced settings. Just like in the SD cardless homebrew tutorial, we want to change both the primary and secondary DNS. So go ahead and change the primary DNS to 164.132.44. .106. Once you have this in here, go ahead and press OK. Now for the secondary DNS, we want to change this to 8.8.8.8, .8 which is actually Google's public DNS server. So again, make sure you've got it exactly as shown on screen here and press OK. And then click on the confirm button and then click on save. The console is now going to let you know that it's going to perform a connection test, so let it do that. And once it finishes, when it asks you to perform a system update, click no. Now you want to press the back button a couple of times until you're all the way back at page 2 of the Wii system settings. This time though, you want to click on the Wii Connect 24 button. First thing you want to do is make sure Wii Connect 24 is turned on, so if you have it turned off, enable it and press confirm. Then go into standby connection and you want to make sure this is on as well. So change it if you have to and then press confirm. Now for slot illumination, this is a completely optional setting. You don't have to actually modify this if you don't want to, but essentially what this does, if you have the dim or bright option selected, your console's uh, disk slot will actually blink when the system has received new data from Reconnect24. Once you have those settings configured, go ahead and press back to go back to page two of the Wii system settings menu and go back into the internet option. And from here, you want to click on user agreements and the system will then ask you if you want to use the Wii Shop channel and we connect 24 go ahead and press yes and at this point it will actually reach out to the network to download the license agreement but just like in the SD cardless homebrew uh, tutorial since we've changed those DNS settings it will actually download something entirely different in this case it's the reconnect 24 license agreement now the authors do recommend that you read through this so once you've done that go ahead and press the I accept button and you will go back to the Wii system menu and that's it congratulations you have now successfully installed reconnect 24 on your Nintendo Wii console and just like I said before you are now able 
able to utilize all of these channels and features uh, just like you did before we connect 24 was shut down so we can go into the everybody votes channel here you can see there's some new polls like do you like ASMR videos you can of course suggest your own questions I mean it's basically the exact same channel it works exactly as it did before but uh, yeah it's just back up and running now and it's the same story for the check me out channel the Nintendo channel the forecast and news channels as well as the Wii mail feature they are all now back up and running thanks to reconnect 24 so that is it everybody that is how you install reconnect 24 on your Nintendo Wii if this is your first modification that you've done to your console I'd like to personally welcome you to the world of Wii homebrewing uh, there's a lot of awesome stuff that you can do uh, reconnect 24 was just one of them I've done a couple of other homebrew related videos on this channel one of my more popular ones was on USB loader GX which actually allows you to back up your Nintendo Wii games to a USB drive and run them off of that which is super convenient uh, I'll have that video linked up in the cards if you want to go ahead and learn how to do that but overall guys if this video helped you be sure to give it a thumbs up be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video which I do every single week actually multiple times per week here on this channel and as always guys i just want to thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video